And what I need to do now is we're going to add some more shadow, kind of darker color like that. Turn my brush down just a little bit, the size. I should just use this brush to begin with for this part. Anyway, I'm going to add some of that kind of warmer color over there. I just want to try to use a smaller put it there. No. Okay. I need to sort of want, you know, I want some of this to kind of really stand out. I don't want to lose the shape there, so I'm going to kind of add that lines in there. And this will have a shadow because of the way the light's facing. And it'd be, a, it'd be this deep shadow right here as well. And it's going to run pretty much everywhere this cloth is. Even a little bit under this side because it's kind of coming down like that. So it would shadow all that. A little bit in there. So you got to, you know, when you're, as you're going through, you got to kind of think where, you know, where are my shadows going to be? Because where's the, uh, you know, basically want to know where it's the light coming from. I'm going to take this color and add a little bit lighter. Now this is one easy way to do wrinkles. Let's say you wanted to, uh, you know there's going to be a wrinkle right here and it's going to kind of come like this and then kind of curve up like that. Now wrinkles do that sometimes. So you kind of, the lighter kind of, I kind of made that too light. I'm going to then, there we go. Now you, then you think, once you have the light color of your wrinkle, you think what's the way the light's facing. We know our, our light's kind of coming down at an angle and so I know I'm going to have shadows then along the inside here of that wrinkle and I'm going to have shadows on this side of the wrinkle to kind of think of it as you know, like a 3D object and then I can push that shadow out as it would fade and there'd be a little bit of shadow on that side, not much though I can kind of just go with a different color for that And so anyway, that's uh, I can, this wouldn't be as dark. When I get this brush now, and we'll kind of just push it like that way, the shadow kind of fades out. that color up in there. I'm going to take a slightly darker color. I want because I want to push this shape back. The darker the color, the more back it recedes. It gets pushed back into the background. The lighter the more that color pops out and comes at you. And I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight there, a little bit there, kind of along here. There we go. And now I'm going to so now I'm going to start shaping my arm by putting this dark light under it, in that, not dark light, dark uh, shadow. And this will allow me to start shaping the arm adding the hard lines to the edge. Now 
Now I'm going to use this smaller brush here. I'm going to add in this hard line there. And it's going to come up like that. There we go. And see, notice because I, I just kind of added all those colors randomly, it all just kind of blends together and adds a cool, cool effect that you can't get in a photograph. Something that's unique to paintings, I think, makes paintings awesome. Kind of start shaping her face just a little bit, kind of adding the skin tones in there. this kind of okay and then I can I know that the uh, this side of the arm actually when it have that dark line there actually it have a light line so I'm just going to kind of add that in there So as you can see, uh, painting just takes a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of going over, adding your colors, going over again, adding different colors, you know, kind of adding some more shapes, it's hard lines, soft lines, finding that balance between the hard lines and soft lines. So what's in the background there? So a little bit of light would pop through, right? Actually, I can't remember now. Oh, that's right, it's her hair. And then you had some of the light there, and then you have the rock. And, uh, hmm. Okay. I kind of lost most of that. 100% opacity with this. This is a standard brush that comes with Photoshop. And it's just, uh, I forget what it's called, but kind of does texture. I just want to know where that's at. I'm just kind of throwing some textures in there. There we go. See how that those colors all blending into her lower leg right there just kind of makes it makes it like atmosphere. It kind of just blends in the atmosphere. It's, kinda, it's a cool technique to use. So she's starting to come out and she's starting to look cool. I could probably add maybe one other highlight to her leg here. I'll try this brush. It's too thick, a little bit thinner. I don't want too much highlight, just want to see like, oops, maybe just right, uh, come on, okay, I, sh I messed up the shape, so let's see here, I'll turn this down a little bit, let's try that again, there we go, uh, a little bit of shadow, right there, I'm going to take this kind of blue color, I'm going to take it, like, oh, that doesn't work. Ah, almost. Let's see if that, kind of, yeah, it's sort of trial and error sometimes. There we go. I guess I'll just keep it like that. Okay, so it's coming along. Again, if you want to go ahead and click on the link to support me in the description, I appreciate it.